Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. And today, I want to share with you my top 25 abdominal workouts to help you get a six pack of fat. Before we get into the 25 top abdominal exercises, I want you to know if you have fat on your abs, they will not show. You have to get rid of that fat. And the best way to do that is diet. If you want some free information, 100% free, on how you can burn the fat so your six pack will actually show. A lot of you guys probably have abs right now. You just got fat over them. If you want free information on the diet you can use to strip that unwanted fat off your body, click the link below. It's a totally free ebook I have for you. Uh, it's my way of saying thank you. Uh, and it's also, you can also modify this diet to build muscle too, right? It's not just for burning fat. Uh, and I explain how to do it in the ebook, 100% free. Click the link in the description to download. But without any further ado, let's get into my top 25 abdominal exercises. You don't have to do all of them. I suggest in an abdominal workout, you pick maybe four, three or four, all right? Probably four. And you do four sets of each and do each set to failure, all right? Because it's like you're primarily body weight exercises. Just do what you can do more. Rest 30 seconds, 30 seconds only. Then do the next set, do four sets of each exercise four exercises, it would be an amazing workout. You can pick the ones that work best for you. Some of them are harder than others. Some of them are more difficult, some of them are easier. You just pick the ones that work best for you. Number one is a more advanced exercise called Superman push-ups. This is where you fully extend your body out and then you lift your torso off the ground, all right? Now, here's the thing. The way I do it is I lift myself off the palm of my hands, not off my elbows. I lift myself off the palm of my hands. So I'm bringing my whole upper body. So the only part that's on the ground is my hands and my toes, okay? Uh, Bella, you can see an example of her doing an easier version, a more modified version. If you can't do it the way I do it, then you can do the way Bella does it and work your way up. Next is Spider-Man planks. This you just hold yourself in a plank position. Make sure you keep your back parallel with the ground. You just hold that plank, then you raise your knees to your elbow, right, and, and alternate. Now, this is a real good exercise for the entire core, but it also works the obliques, areas, side abs. You can't really see it in this light, but I got them. And it, it's really good for that uh, body part, as well as just the, the entire abdominal region. Next, we have iron butterflies. This is one of my favorite. I think it may have been invented by my cousin Chicago G. He told me they used to do this when they were in Cook County Jail back in Chicago. And when he came home, he brought it to us and I'm sharing this with you. Iron butterflies, really great abdominal exercises, upper abs, lower abs, and you'll get some auxiliary side uh, work as well. Uh, you don't have to grab your knees, you're just kind of putting your arms in that area. Next is TRX ab pikes, okay? This is gonna need a TRX or some sort of suspension training apparatus. And it's hanging from the ceiling on the wall and you put your feet in it and you kind of just lift your butt in the air. It's a great exercise, upper low abs, lower abs, hip flexors, uh, the whole nine, really phenomenal exercise. Now we have Starfish Crunch. This is very similar to Iron Butterflies, but it's a starfish crunch, right? And you know, I think it's a little bit dip more difficult because when you put your arms out and above your head, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add a little bit of extra weight with your arms being extended that way. So it makes uh, the crunch part of it a little more difficult, uh, which means it's you know more effective if you can do it. Number six, one of my all-time favorites, this is ab wheel rollouts. I will be posting a dedicated video on ab wheel rollouts really soon here on this channel but this is one of my favorite exercises all right uh the dedicated video is going to be good to see because a lot of people do this wrong and i just want to make sure you're doing it right uh here's bella doing it on her knees um you can also do it if you have the strength you can do it standing so you can just so be all the way on your toes and then roll out and then come back right that's the more difficult way that's the more advanced do whatever works for you work your way up try to work your way up to standing number seven we have the dying roach this is one of my favorites all right now when you just look at it it looks like you're you're it's nonsense it's like you're not doing anything until you try it. it's very difficult it really works the upper abs lower abs and the obliques very effectively so what you want to do is you want to lift your butt in the air and twist 
one direction, then lift your torso in the air and then twist. And you keep going until you go in a circle, then you switch directions. All right, very, very effective. Number eight, side plank ass taps. This is one of my favorite exercises. What you do is you get in a plank position and then you kind of just put your hip on the floor, one side of the floor, then alternate to the other side of the floor. You just go back and forth. Really great exercise for your abdominal region, for your core, but it puts a little bit of extra emphasis on the side abs, the obliques, the love handles. You know? Number nine, rising toe touch. This is exercise where you actually lift your body off the ground, touch your toe, then go back to the starting position and alternate toes. Really great exercise. I encourage you to give it a shot. Number 10, bird dog. This is when you're staying in a push-up position. Make sure your back's parallel to the ground. You don't have your butt sticking up in the air. This is not that kind of video. Then once you're in that position, you extend one arm up and then the alternate leg gets extended too and then you switch sides. This is really good for your balance, for your core, and just the, the abdominal region in general. Number 12, plank walkers. This is when you go from push-up position to plank, one arm at a time. You just keep going, you just keep going. You just keep, you keep, you keep switching it up. Really great exercise. 13, V-ups. This exercise is similar to Starfish Crunch and the Diet Roach, but it's probably the most difficult version of it because having your arms above your head fully extended just adds more weight and it just makes the exercise a lot more difficult uh, but it's really great it's a great exercise to do i encourage you to add this to your repertoire side plank twist this exercise it requires a bit of coordination most people don't get it right at first you want to start in a plank position you want to take one of your knees and then pull it in at the same time pulling in the alternate elbow so knees to elbow alternate sides and then you switch all right you kind of it's, it's going to take some practice a lot most people you know it's, it's a little bit of coordination but you can get there i believe in you i think you're strong enough to master this move and once you do it you have better abs as a result 15 leg lift hip raise combo leg lift with the hip raise so basically you're going to lift your legs up as if you were doing a regular leg lift but then you lift your hips off the ground as well all right so it adds an extra degree of difficulty to the move if you can't do that if that's too difficult then just do the leg lifts or just do the hip raises uh but i like to combine these exercises together and it's almost like a superset uh it's, a, it's an amazing exercise add it start doing it make it make it your own sweet 16 reverse crunch so this is you have your legs extended and then you pull basically your knees to your chest so you want to pull your knees in all right and you want to bend your legs pull your knees in and lift your booty off the ground at the same time kind of like you're trying to put your knees think about trying to put your knees in your neck really great exercise that puts more emphasis on the lower abs 17 roman twist you basically have your butt on the ground your legs should be slightly elevated a few inches off the ground and then you're kind of just going from side to side now the key is to don't just move your arms you want to move your shoulder over right your, your arms should actually stay stationary it's your shoulders that should move okay a lot of people do it and they're just doing this they think they're doing something they're not you want to get your shoulder to each side because that's really it's that twist part of it you want to twist your torso, and that's what's gonna work the oblique muscles, all right? Take it to that next level. If it's too difficult for you initially, then put your feet on the floor. You can do with your feet on the floor and work your way up to keeping your feet elevated. 18, we're almost there. Side plank dips. So this is when you get in a side plank position, meaning either your hand and your feet on the ground, or if you wanna make it a little less challenging, you can put your forearm and your feet on the ground and basically you just go ahead and dip that hip to the floor and back up you know and then you alternate sides really great exercise put some extra emphasis on the obliques 19 windshield wipers this is a great exercise for the lower abs and the obliques basically you lay on your back put your feet in the air and go from side to side now sometimes i take it to another level where i actually hang from the pull-up bar and then i lift my my hips up so my back is close to parallel with the ground and then do it that's the next level uh work your way up to that start with your back on the ground number 20 regular roll leg lifts basically you just lay on the floor you want to make it a little easier you can put your hands underneath your butt and then keep your feet about six inches off the ground and then you bring your legs up so your feet are pointing towards the ceiling and then bring them down. Don't let them hit the floor. Keep them at six inches above the ground and then you repeat. Last five, we're almost there. Here is number 21, side to side reverse crunch. So this is just like the reverse crunch we did previously, except you're gonna add a little twist to the side, go back to the starting position, 
a little twist on the other side, okay? This is if you wanna put some more emphasis on the obliques and the side abs. Number 22, plain old hip raises. Sometimes I prefer hip raises to leg raises. When you do leg raises, you actually work your hip flexors a lot, and you know, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but the hip raises kind of puts more of a focus on the actual abdominal regions by taking the hip flexor out of the equation, right? So if you just want a more targeted version, uh, you can do this, but I, I like the combo. I like I like the combo like we did in the early exercise, but this is great too. Number 23, one of my all time favorite. If I had to pick one exercise, it'd be this, the cable crunch. Now, a lot of people do this wrong. I have some videos on how you can do it the right way, but the cable crunch, basically you get it on your knee, right? And then you, you grab the cable and then you extend up and then you crunch in. A lot of people do this exercise wrong because they bend from the hips, right? And this is where the, this is where the bend happens. That's wrong. You won't work your abs as much. What you want to do is bend from here, right? So it's like a real crunch, okay? Like, you're doing like, a, if you do it, you've been from here, you're basically doing a standing sit up, which is okay, but it's not as effective. So this is wrong, right? This is right, okay? And to really do it correctly, you actually wanna get an extension in your back, right? Not here, not from here, you wanna extend from here. Bam, 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 bam. That's right, this is wrong, this is wrong, okay? I have a video somewhere on YouTube on how to focus on how to do that uh, correctly. Um, if I remember, I'll put that link in the description. This is one of my favorite abdominal exercises of all time. Number 24, last two. All right, check it out. Bicycles, really simple exercise. Basically, when you do it, you extend both your legs, bring one of your knees in, and then the alternate elbow touches the right on your back, and then you switch. Now, one way that people mess this up is they don't fully extend the leg, right? They cheat, right, because it's easier. Fully extend that leg, keep it about six inches above the ground. That's proper form. That's gonna give you the results that you're looking for. And finally, last but not least, this whole list was in no particular order. This is not the best one. It is just number 25 because that's the order I wrote it in. So check it out, Dragon Flags. This move was made famous in Rocky IV when Sylvester Stallone did it. What you wanna do is you wanna grab on something, grab on something sturdy, right? And then you don't just lift your legs up like, uh, like a leg lift you lift your whole torso off the ground. So only your upper back is on the ground. So you lift the whole thing up and then you try to lower in a way where your back and your legs are, are in a straight line. And then you bring them six inches above the ground and bring it back up. Very difficult, very advanced, but you will get there if you try. All right, so those are my top 25 abdominal exercises. Here's the thing guys, you can do all the ab exercises you want, but if you have fat on those abs, it will not show. And the best way to burn fat is the right diet. I have a free download for you about the, the diet I use to burn fat. And if you use the same diet to build muscle, you just up, up your calories. I explain the whole thing in a free ebook that you can download, link in the description. All right guys, hope that helped. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel. Hey, and if you want more Brandon, I have a daily vlog channel where I vlog every day. I, I focus more on business, the business side, because you know I run a supplement company, I run an online business. We have like 10 employees, we do seven figures a year, blah, 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 blah. I'm like the poor man's Gary V, right? Or black Gary V, right? And uh, if, if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to that channel. That link will be in the description too. Daily vlogs, uh, it's inspirational and uh, informative. All right, love you guys, peace.